Hello, virtual learners. Today I'm going to share the story with you, Stand Tall, Molly Lou Mellon. The story was written by Patty Lavelle and illustrated by David Cottrell. Stand Tall, Molly Lou, Molly Lou Mellon. Molly Lou Mellon stood just taller than her dog and was the shortest girl in the first grade. She didn't mind. Her grandma had told her, walk as proudly as you can and the world will look up to you. So, she did. Molly Lou Mellon had buck teeth that stood out so far she could stack pennies on them. She didn't mind. Her grandma had told her, smile big and the world will smile right alongside you. So, she did. Molly Lou Mellon had a voice that sounded like a bullfrog being squeezed by a boa constrictor. She didn't mind. Her grandma had told her, sing out clear and strong and the world will cry tears of joy. So she did. Molly Lou Mellon was often fumble fingered. She didn't mind. Her grandma had told her, believe in yourself and the world will believe in you too. How was she fumble fingered? What did she do there? Look, here's before, here's after. Oops. So she did. Wow. That's pretty impressive. Then Molly Lou Mellon moved to a new town. She had to say goodbye to her grandma and all of her friends and start in a new school. On the first day of school, Ronald Durkin called her shrimp -o! in gym class. When the game started, Molly Lou Mellon caught the football, ran under the legs of Ronald Durkin, and scored a touchdown. All the children thought, wow. She's good. And Ronald Durkin felt very foolish. On the second day of school, Ronald Durkin called her Buck to Beaver. Molly Lou Mellon took out her pennies, stacked ten high on her teeth, and smiled as big as day. All the children smiled with glee, and Ronald Durkin felt very foolish. On the third day of school, Ronald Durkin said, You sound like a sick duck, honk, honk. Molly Lou Mellon sang out a quack so loud and strong that it made Ronald Durkin somersault backwards, hit his head, and have to go to the nurse. All the children cried with joy to be free of Ronald Durkin for the rest of the afternoon. And Ronald Durkin felt very foolish. On the fourth day of school, Ronald Durkin said that she'd made the snowflake all wrong. But Molly Lou Mellon opened up her paper and revealed the most beautiful snowflake of all. All the children oohed and aahed, even Ronald Durkin. On the fifth day of school, Ronald Durkin brought Molly Lou Mellon a stacking penny for her tooth and smiled at her. That night, Molly Lou Mellon took out a pencil and paper and wrote a letter to her grandma. Dear Grandma, I wanted to tell you that everything you told me was exactly right. Love, Molly Lou Mellon. Look at Molly Lou Mellon's grandma. No wonder she had such amazing advice for Molly Lou Mellon. She's the same size that she is. The message in this story is be yourself. Stay true to who you are. I hope that you practice doing that every day because you are wonderful just the way you are.